Hello everyone, Shane here. Got another little video, it's called Adjusting Your Grid Using Enable Layout Adjustment. It's a follow-on to our second InDesign Grids tutorial called Styling Text Using Paragraph Styles and it picks up where that one left off. When you're in the process of designing a new grid, you might try one layout, one particular set of columns and gutters and margin measurements but it might not be working as well as it could. So we're going to use a little tool called the Enable Layout Adjustment to help us with that. And it's a fantastic little part of the Margins and Columns tool kit. As you can see, it adjusts all the content, or most of it, without actually you having to go in there and do that manually. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is instead of adjusting the master pages straight away. We're going to do a new layout inside the pages, but we're going to do it as a duplicate and we're just going to use that duplicate to compare. So currently if you look at my page four and five spread, we've got the initial layout from previous video. So we're just going to copy that. So all you do is select those two thumbnails, hold down Option or Alt on the PC and click and drag it to the right. And you'll see it's going to duplicate it. So now if we flick back and forth, we've got exactly the same pages there. Let's now adjust this one. So while we've got page six and seven spread selected, go up to layout, margins and columns, and try something new. So what I'll do is I'll initially I'll increase, oh firstly I'll turn on enable layout adjustment. And then, for example, I'll try um, increasing my columns. In fact, I'll try decreasing them to two and I'll increase my gutter accordingly. Something that looks a little bit better. And I'm also going to adjust my outside margin. I'm going to make them a little bit larger. Something like that. Now that looks pretty good. Now you'll notice that as, as I'm doing that, the content is moving around quite nicely without me having to do anything. What hasn't moved yet is the page numbers down here. And that's because they were initially set up outside the margin area in the master pages. So we'll have to do that manually. But for the most part, we've got a quick look at a new positioning of the columns and a new column width and gutter width. So let's hit OK. So now if we go back here and hit W to preview and we toggle up and down the pages, there's our page four and five three column grid per page. And this is page six and seven two column grid. So let's go one more step. Let's duplicate this one again. So hold down option, click and drag to the right in the pages thumbnail. And we've got a duplicate now eight and nine. Go up to margins and columns. Oh, sorry, layout, margins and columns. Turn enable layout adjustment on. And let's try another option here. Why don't we, just for fun, let's make it a four column grid per page. So it's a very thin column. And let's reduce our gutter. But let me just come out of there and turn on preview so I can see what my guides are doing. Okay, now we'll decrease my gutter. I'll increase my number of columns, so we're up to four there. Let's try that. I don't think it's going to work, but let's try it just so we can compare it. In this case, I'm going to decrease my margin, so I'll bring my outside margin back to about 15. And I think what I'll do is I'll bring my top margin down. Now, what's happened here is this heading is not adjusted automatically because, well I'm not sure why, but um, some, of, some of these elements don't get moved around by InDesign when you use Enable Add Adjustment, but most of the body, the content of the page will. So let's hit OK there, and we'll come back out here, we'll turn, off pre turn Preview back on, we'll toggle our tools out of the way, and we'll just flip between these pages. So there's the three column grid, two column grid, and a four column grid. Now, if we have a little look at this, we'll start to see whether or not this is working nicely. Now, I personally find this too few 
number of words per line length. In Robert Bringhurst's book, The Elements of Typographic Style, Robert recommends that anything from 45 to 75 characters is widely regarded as a satisfactory length of line for a single column page set in a serif text face in a text size. The 66 character line, counting both letters and spaces, is widely regarded as ideal. So he's saying that you should aim for approximately 66 characters, no matter what point size. And here we've got 3, 5, or 6, something like that. So if we zoom back out and look at the previous one, let's have a look here how many characters we've got. One, two, oh, sorry, how many words? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 3, 6, 9, 12. So to me, that line length is working quite good, quite well, I should say, for my body text. Let's go up to the first one and count these ones. Here we've got about 3, 6, 7, 3, 6, 7. So the three column and the two column grid are working, but the four column is not. Um, so that's it. That's basically the, the tool in a nutshell. Now let's say we've done our tweaking and we much prefer this two column grid. So we'll come back down to the pages here and I'll just delete now these two pages that we don't wish to use. And I'll also delete the initial one, which was the earlier three column grid. So now what we're saying is we want to follow this two column grid for this document in particular. Um, so let's now update the master pages. So all we do to do that is just take note of our measurements. So select the pages thumbnail of page four and five, margins and columns again. And we can just take note of these measurements. So we've got 10, 20, 12 and 25 with uh, two column and five mils. So 10, 20, 12, and 25. And then we simply double click on the master pages, open up layout and margins and columns again, 10, 20, 12, and 25. And then we want to bring this one down to two and this one up to five. And we've got enable layout adjustment turned on. So that seems to have worked. We'll hit okay there. Now we'll go back to our double spread and we can see that everything looks hunky-dory. So that's it. That's the Enable Layout Adjustment tool. It's a very useful tool um, and I encourage you to use it as you're figuring out exactly what works for your particular document. Thanks for watching.